Welcome to Forrester Pro. In this short tutorial we're going to look at how to export trees with wind effects for UDK. And for the purposes of the tutorial we're going to use this model which is one of the palm trees from our palm tree pack. To export it we simply go to the export menu and select FBX for UDK, press OK and up pops the export menu that allows us to specify how we generate vertex colors on each different leaf mesh on the on the model and then we simply select the export directory that we want to write the files to. To import that into UDK we simply go to import in the content browser and navigate through to find the, the export directory and uh, we want the uh, FBX file here we are there's the FBX file and we press OK and then that will import directly into UDK and we'll see the new mesh and two, two materials um, appear in the content browser. So let's just add that mesh now to the, the current scene so we can take a look at our model. And although it's not necessary for importing wind effects, let's have a look at what the vertex colors actually look like on this model. So I'm going to go to uh, the material for the leaves and I'm going to double click it to bring up the material editor. And then I'm going to right click and add uh, vertex colors and connect the RGB channel of that vertex colors to the diffuse channel, the output diffuse channel, and then apply that to the model. And that will show us the colors, the vertex colors that are applied to every vertex on the model. And uh, well, we can do that for both the, the trunk and for the leaves. And these vertex colors will be used by the wind shader to determine how much to displace the vertices on the model. So let's now implement a wind shader and the wind shader I'm using you can download from the website shown on the screen. It's an excellent wind shader that's very similar to the one in Crisis. Um, if we open that package we need to fully load it. We can copy across the wind shader material function which we're going to use to implement the shader in UDK. So we simply need to, to give it a new name and, and copy it into our current working package. And we'll also do that for both of the materials that are within the example package that you can find find on the, the shown website. The first thing we need to do is make some changes to the materials that we've just copied into our package. So I'll double click on them and open up the material editor and I'm going to remove the separate alpha channel and the normals in this case which we're not using. And we want to add our texture to the texture sample that's sitting in the material. So here's the texture sample just up here. So if we select the texture sample and then select the, select the texture from Forrester Pro and then hit the little green arrow and our texture will be will be brought into the texture sample. Uh, we'll also get rid of this this um, specular channel which we don't need. And uh, Because this is a leaf texture and it has some transparency, it has an alpha mask, we will connect the alpha channel here to the opacity ma mask of the material. So that will, will allow parts of our leaf to be transparent. The next thing we, we need to do, because we copied across the materials function that defines the wind shader, is we need to add that new copy of the wind function into the material editor. So we'll delete the one that's sitting in here at the moment, which is still currently in the previous package and you can see over here under material functions is wind animation and that's the the name we gave to the to the new copy in our package and we'll pull that directly into our our material editor and now we, all we need really to do is to connect the output of the wind shader um, to the switch and there's a, a switch function here to allow us to turn on or off the wind effects and we need to connect each one of the parameters that are sat here on the right and these control how the wind shader works to each one of the inputs on that wind shader material function. Now we just need to repeat this process with the second material that we copied across from the external package. And here we are, here's the two materials with the textures from Forrester Pro applied to them and we now need to add those to our mesh so if we double click the mesh in the content browser and in the mesh editor we can select different parts of that mesh there's the trunk 
and we'll select the material for the trunk and apply that material by pressing the green arrow and we can do the same with the leaf texture and now both of our materials are applied to the tree including the wind shader. So to make our wind effect work we simply need to add a directional or point wind source to the scene so we can go to the actors class of the content browser and then drag that that wind source directly into our scene and here's the wind effect within the world editor now if we want we can change the properties of the material shader in the material editor to get exactly the wind effects that we'd like Forrester Pro then provides you with a very quick and easy way of generating models with vertex colors for wind effects within UDK and you can download Forrester Pro including a, a free version for you to play around with from our website